I used to stay inside my family's manor when I was very young, not at all willing to go outside and see the world. At a very young age, I developed a habit of reading. For a time, my brother and sister both believed I would surely become a mage. But my mother simply refused to teach me magic, claiming it was too dangerous for a little girl like me. I was very disappointed, that's for sure. But then, one day, I saw my brother and his squire, a boy from House Vici, practicing combat. With the child's curiosity, I stepped closer to observe their movement. Almost immediately, I became fascinated with the art of melee combat. For the rest of my childhood, if I wasn't reading, then I was practicing with swords and shields under my brother's watch. I should thank him for ignoring my mother's protests and taught me the way of a soldier anyway. I didn't give much regards to what the other noble girls behaved like. I wanted to be a soldier, like my father and brother were, so I followed my goal, even if it sounded odd to those outside our family. Thankfully, my family was quite open-minded. My father didn't object my pursuit, and my mother's complaint stopped as soon as I reached adolescence. My brother, Matthias, was as renowned a swordsman as my father was in his youth. He followed Prince Julius to fight the Argonians near our borders when I was still a baby. The story may be exaggerated, but from what I've heard, he killed a dozen Argonians in a row without even a scratch on his armor. Judging from what I've seen in his movements, I'd say that wouldn't be that far from the truth. <laughs> Though I guess that's nothing, if you compare that to Julius slaughtering a hundred Argonians alone with his magic. A truly terrifying character. I became too occupied by learning the art of swords and the lectures about philosophy and history. Perhaps I could have, after I became old enough and my mother offered to teach me. But at that time, I'd rather perfect my skill in swords. After all, if I have to learn something, I should master that art. My attentions couldn't be diverged, or my effort would be meaningless, right? Though, I guess, now that I'm a good enough soldier, perhaps you can teach me a spell or two, for the fun of it. I had spent a few years adventuring in Cyrodiil, after I learned everything my brother would teach me. I traveled around the Imperial Province, killing goblins and bandits, venturing ancient forts and alien ruins to learn practical combat skills. Truth is, I left my family's manor without telling my mother. I knew she wouldn't allow me anyway, so I saved her the effort of yelling at me. My brother Matthias and my sister Cassandra, on the other hand, were both fully aware of that. I knew Cassandra would manage to persuade Mama. So, I guess in the end... I saved Mother from yelling at me so that she could sore her throat by screaming at Cassandra, to put it colorfully. You, too. I wanted to see Cyrodiil, the land which my father helps rule with my own eyes. Though, come to think of it, I've seldom visited the cities of Cyrodiil and spent more time in the wilds fighting the wicked and the wild. Whenever we needed supplies, my mage friend would always go into the cities to buy food for me, told me to wait at our camp and prepare the fire. She said I would be recognized by the city guards on the first sight, and they would send me back to Coral. I guess she was right. <laughs> <laughs>